With the new Vis Engine 3.3, uh, you can now make uh, stereoscopic scenes uh, in this uh, artist and uh, this engine. Uh, we can uh, do a small uh, introduction to how you can get started with uh, stereoscopic. There are basically two types of setups that you can uh, do. The one is with a VGA setup, and the second one is with a, a dual channel setup. The quick way to start uh, making designs in stereoscopic is to use the uh, VGA setup uh, which we are going to do today and uh, to do that you need uh, a set of glasses uh, something like this uh, NVIDIA sells these uh, three division glasses don't buy the GeForce uh, version buy the Quadro version because then you get the uh, uh, small cable uh, that comes where you can connect to the uh, graphics board. You need to have a graphics board, Quadro graphic board with a Dean connector down here. Uh, you need to have a 120 hertz screen, uh, something like this. Uh, this is the Samsung screen. I would not recommend that because it's only the highest resolution is 1680. I would recommend going for a 1920 uh, resolution screen because also the size of the image will uh, affect in the uh, 3D uh, effect. So uh, when you have uh, uh, the screen, screen must be able to run 120 hertz. Uh, remember also when you are going to run it 120 hertz, you must have the correct DVI cable because there are different DVI cables, although they look all the same, with different numbers of connectors. So you need the one with a full set which is called a dual link uh, DVI uh, cable. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the uh, NVIDIA settings and change the resolution. And you change it into 120 hertz. Uh, and if you don't manage to set it to 120 hertz, probably the DVI cable is your problem. Then you go to manage 3D settings. And here you set uh, stereo display mode to onboard DIN connector with NVIDIA IR emitter. You find that in the menu if you have uh, booted with the, the, uh, with the IR emitter uh, connected and if you have installed the drivers for it. You need of course to have the correct drivers that uh, comes with this set. Then you set the stereo enable to on, and, that, and then we are done with the uh, NVIDIA settings. Next is to do a setting in uh, this artist config. Uh, there is a new setting there in the this configuration under camera, set it to quad buffered. And uh, save and restart uh, this. Then you should be able to uh, see in 3D. You can switch on the glasses here. There comes a small green light. There's also a USB cable to charge the glasses, but they work also without the, the glasses, just with the IR emitter. And then you are already able to see the 3D here. Uh, most scenes work directly without any further change, but uh, you have to go over the scenes and design them so uh, they look good in stereoscopic. Because if you haven't built them up uh, carefully, uh, grouping things nicely in set space, it, uh, they won't look uh, as good. Uh, so this is... Uh, uh, this is how you start up here. Then there is one setting in uh, this artist where you can play with the effect of the 3D. That is under uh, the camera settings. In this case I'm using camera 1. And uh, here you can uh, choose the eye distance. Though that is basically the distance between the two cameras that are making the uh, stereo effect. And you can also set the distance to the convergence plane, where those two lines are falling together. 
and in that distance the pixels will not be spread apart. Uh, and that is basically it. Then you are ready to go and uh, you will be able to design scenes and get the feel for the stereoscopic in uh, this engine with this setup. Uh, this uh, screen cost maybe three, four hundred, no, four, five hundred dollars and uh, uh, a few hundred dollars for the glasses. Uh, if you want to go for the bigger setup, which you will need if you are going to implement this in the TV station, uh, then you need uh, a dual uh, channel uh, engine and we are going to show that at IBC. So then we will do uh, an interview with uh, some of the uh, experts in this RT of stereoscopic and we will also tell more about that type of setup. <laughs>